If an auto company sells you a driver assistance feature, you'd think, I don't know, it was safe. At a minimum, you would expect it to work. I mean, there's also that NHTSA thing, N-H-T-S-A, uh, I don't know what that is. We've all heard a mixed bag of both FUD and genuine concerns surrounding Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving. But how about a system that's been around for just as long or longer, such as Ford's Intelligent Speed Sign Recognition System? Wow, that sounds pretty official. It turns out to be so bad that it is a danger on the road, especially when it's attached to a 6,800-pound electric truck bullet. This bug has been around for a while. All you gotta do is pop online. Ford intelligent <laughs> speed recognition system issues. Oh, well, there seem to be a large number of those. Hmm. And what's Ford doing about it? Squat, it seems. I made the error of thinking the system was based on a GPS feed or maps, but according to Ford's website, it's like camera based. I kept my cameras really clean, so I've ruled out any kind of dirty lens issue. And the worst thing is, it seems to happen more when you're going faster. Great. On my recent mentally deranged to cross be seeing back in a day in my lightning trip. You can click on the link below or at the end of this video if you like to watch that. It almost drove me off the road when it went from 80 kilometers an hour to 120 with no warning in the middle of a well-timed turn over an embankment above a farmer's field. Howdy, I am Ford's intelligent speed sign recognition system. All right, ready? Okay, go. See that sign up there? It's 100 plus 200. 140, no bad. 80, 80. Watch out for the children. Oh, there's a boost of road. Oh, stop. Go fast. No, slow, slow. Turn. No. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Don't. Don't. Slow down. Okay, fast, 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 fast. Did I mention that I happen to be legally blind? With so much acceleration in an EV, this launches both the Mustang Mach-E and the Ford F-150 Lightning by a big speed gap in only a second or two. You're not getting a lot of reaction time when this thing decides to kick in at the wrong speed at definitely the wrong time. At other times, it just suddenly kicks off, giving an indicator on your dash that says, the speed sign recognition system isn't currently available. But in one pedal driving mode, however, this is basically the same as slamming the brakes on in the middle of a highway. Has Ford thought about this? Eh, who knows? Good luck trying to reach them. There's no button on the dash like in a Tesla. Report issue. Eh, doesn't exist. Good luck. You go through about 27 menus and you find a little feedback button. Enjoy. The worst part about this fault is that it doesn't tell you why it's not working. Why don't they have something pop up on the screen like, hey idiot, clean your gross camera lens. Or the Russians just shot down our satellite. Is it associated with mapping? Is it due to a major software malfunction and the truck is about to burst into flames? Who the heck knows? I mean, I mean, I mean, what the blues? <laughs> now, picture someone whose reflexes may not be as tip top as a strapping 20 something truck dude behind the wheel. This turns grandma and her wild live a little purchase into a potential school zone battering ram. <laughs> shocking thing out of all of this came when I contacted a dealer. The response was intelligent speed sign recognition is buggy and you can just turn it off in the menu. Really? Is, is that the fix for it? Is, is that what I should do? This is an advertised and promoted driving assistance feature that could be a huge potential danger on highways and the recommended fix is uh, turn it off. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a heap of hog do. The added insult is that this isn't some kind of complex full self-driving system that Tesla's trying to attempt here. This is just reading speed signs. Ford needs to get its act together and either update the software immediately before this causes a serious accident, turn the feature off entirely. I mean, I don't know who's gonna keep it on. And even better, Nishta should issue a recall. What are your thoughts? Is this even acceptable to be advertised as a new feature? Is this the new norm? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you would like to see when this occurred well over two dozen times in that one trip that I took, you might want to check out my video above. Also, please like and subscribe and click the little bell notification icon down there so you don't miss an episode. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.